Today, I want to take some time and have a lesson that will help you build your vocabulary with these two verbs right here. Where'd they go? Welcome to today's lesson, which is really going to help you build and improve and enhance your vocabulary skills because I'm going to talk to you about two very, very, very common English verbs, take and have, and talk about some of the words that frequently follow these verbs. And these are called collocations. And collocations really help you expand your vocabulary because you're using words that are frequently used together. And you're not just learning one word, you're learning two words and seeing how they're used in different contexts. And there are all sorts of collocations. You can have an adjective noun collocation, you can have a noun verb collocation, or you can have a verb noun collocation, which is what we're going to talk about today because I'm going to talk to you about words that frequently follow the verbs take and have. Now, when you think of these verbs, you might be thinking, oh, I know this verb, I know how to use it, I know its meaning. But when these verbs are used with certain nouns, the meaning can change slightly. And that's why it's so important to learn these verbs together with these nouns, because then you'll know how to use them and when to use them and be able to use them correctly the next time you're practicing your English skills. So let's start with the verb take. This is one of the most common verbs in the English language. And when you think of take, you probably think of the meaning of, well, to hold something, to take it. I'm going to take it. But when we use it with certain nouns, the meaning is going to change a little. And I'm going to show you how take is used with these nouns in different categories, because that's going to help you understand how to use it. And you'll be able to relate this verb to a certain category because it's used in more ways than one. For example, example, we often use take when we're talking about transportation or movement, because you can say that you are going to take a walk. Or if you're using transportation, you might take a bus or take a taxi or you can take a plane. You can also move forward by taking a step in the right direction. We also use take when we're talking about a response to something or, or even a plan of action because you can take action. Do, 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 do. I don't know what that's taking action, I guess. You can also take control, take control of a situation. If you want to be the leader, then you can take charge, take charge of the situation, take command. That's another one, take command. You can also take responsibility for something that has happened and you can take advantage of something or someone. There are many different responses when we're talking about take. We also use take when we're talking about time because you can say that something takes time. It takes a a duration of time. And you can be a little more precise and say how much time something takes. It could take minutes. It could also take days. It could take years. And if something goes on and on and on and it feels like it never stops, you could say that it takes an eternity. And I hope you guys take some time to join our social media classes because it's a great way to practice. Some other common expressions with take, we can take notes. You can take a photo. We can also take a nap. Who doesn't love taking naps? You can relax and take a break if you're tired of doing something. You can also take someone's advice. Take advice. These are just some of the nouns that we use with the verb take, but there are many, 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 many other ones out there that you can learn and practice and use, and that will help you build your vocabulary. Next, let's have a look at the verb have and talk about some of the nouns that we frequently use with this verb. When you think of have, I think most of us think of possession, something that we actually have. For example, I have a phone. I have a phone. And it's important to note that when have means possession, you cannot use it in the continuous tense. You cannot say, I am having a phone. 
No. But when have is used with certain nouns, the meaning of the verb changes. It doesn't actually mean possession. And in that case, you may be able to use have in the continuous tense. Over the years, I've had many learners ask me about this and they say, well, you told us we can't use have in the continuous tense, but I'm reading this story and they're using it that way. And I have to explain to them, well, in that story, have does not mean possession. So this is a perfect example of why learning these collocations are important because the meaning can change and it will help you improve your vocabulary as well as your grammar. So let's start by talking about food because food is awesome. When we're talking about food, we can have breakfast, we can have lunch, and we can have dinner. And in this case, have kind of means like what, what you're eating. So we can use it in the continuous tense and I can say, I'm having breakfast or I'm having eggs for breakfast, which basically means that I'm eating eggs. You can also have a snack. You can have a drink like coffee. Mm. I like having coffee in the morning. Finally, you could have a bite to eat, something that you're going to eat. We can go out and go have a bite somewhere. Have a bite, have something to eat. We use have when we're talking about someone's health because you can have a headache. You can also have an injury or you could even have the flu if, if you're sick, have the flu. I hope nobody out there has the flu right now because it's been, it's been going around this year. We can also use have to talk about problems, problems that somebody's having. You can have problems. You can have issues. You could have trouble with something or trouble with someone. That's not good. Or you can even have an accident, like you broke something. We use have when talking about speaking because you can have a chat with someone. You could have a talk. You could have a conversation. And if you don't agree with somebody, maybe you have an argument with that person. Some other expressions with have, you can have a good time. You can have fun. You can have a relationship. You could even have sympathy for someone. Again, there are many, many other nouns that we often use with have. These are just some of them. And I recommend going out and learning more of them because this is a great way to build your vocabulary. It is now time to practice what we've learned. So I am going to tell you a sentence and I want you to complete the sentence with either take or have. And I'm not going to show you the sentence. So this is also going to be a little bit of a listening activity as well. And you need to pay close attention. I will say the sentence twice. You will say the answer out loud. And then afterwards, I will go over the answer with you. Are you ready? Let's begin. It'll mm a few hours for us to get there. It'll mm a few hours for us to get there. The answer is take. It'll take a few hours for us to get there. Remember, we use take when we're talking about a period of time. Something takes time. Here's the next one. People who gamble are willing to mm a risk. People who gamble are willing to mm a risk. Again, I hope that you answered take because this is talking about more of a response. People who gamble are willing to take a risk. Let's look at another. What are you mm for dinner? What are you mm for dinner? The answer is having. What are you having for dinner? We use have quite often when talking about food, have dinner. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. What are you having for dinner? Well, before you tell me, let's, let's do some more practice. Here's another. We'll mm a boat out to the island. We'll mm a boat out to the island. The answer to this one is take. We'll take a boat out to the island. We use take when talking about transportation. How are we going from one place to another? We'll take a boat. Are you ready for the next one? Here it is. We need to mm a chat about your work performance. We need to mm a chat about your work performance. Have 
is the answer. We need to have a chat about your work performance. Have. We are speaking. And this is something I hope that your boss maybe doesn't tell you at some point because that might not be a good thing. Here's the next question. Right now, I am mm, a bad cold. Right now, I am mm, a bad cold. Right now, I have a bad cold. We use have when we're talking about health. Have a cold. I hope you guys rock that practice and got all of those correct. And now I want to hear from you. So if you know of any other collocations with take and have, I want you to share with everyone and write those in the comments. Any other nouns that you know of that are often used with take or have. Please write those in the comments. This will help everyone out there build and expand their vocabulary. And if you enjoyed this lesson and you learned something new, don't be shy. Please hit that like button down there and let us know. I really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this lesson and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. And talk about some of the... Wait, what? But when... Aye, aye, aye. Ouch, that itches. Because you might take a bus or you could take a cat <laughs> by talking about food because food is awesome. Okay. <laughs>